There is a, a Democratic lawmaker that spoke out in Lansing. What this is called is the second chance or the second look. Um, some Democrats want to give people convicted of murder, rape, and other violent offenses a second look through legislation that could provide early release for thousands in the state of Michigan. There was a hearing yesterday about this. I want to play the sound from a lawmaker who explains a little bit about what this legislation is all about, and then we'll get to the opposing side. So stick with me. The second look resentencing act legislation. What this says is that if you've been incarcerated for 10 years or longer, uh, you can ask for a second look. Uh, the piece I want to make sure I highlight is that you are asking your same sentencing judge for a second look at your case. And your sentencing judge does not have to just take into account sentencing guidelines. It can go a, take a holistic approach um, to everything surrounding uh, your case as well as uh, what have you been doing since you've been incarcerated. And so they can take into account, uh, have you been staying out of trouble? Uh, have you been taking classes? Uh, do you have degrees or trainings or certifications? Um, uh, do you have a support system? Do you have a support system if you were to potentially uh, be released later down the line? One thing I want to make mention right there is that this legislation does not release anyone. Uh, this legislation just allows for someone to ask for a second look at their case to be resentenced. Uh, a judge can also look at, uh, is your conviction something that uh, once was uh, looked at one way, and now here we are 20, 30 years later uh, looking at this differently. So there you go. Should there, should criminals be given a second look, even if they had been convicted of murder, rape, or other violent offenses? Should they be able to get out early, um, even after 10 years? That is something that is of interest and it's a legislation that is possibly uh, going to happen in Michigan. They are just beginning the process. But many people are not happy with this. Many people say that what you're doing is going to be releasing thousands of murderers, rapists, and violent individuals onto the street of Michigan. Now, many say people can rehabilitate themselves, and they have. Um, but there are some people who don't agree with this. One of them, a prosecutor, I believe he is from Kalamazoo County. He spoke out. Listen to what he had to say about this. These bills will make our state more dangerous. Exclusively, every prosecutor I know says their job is to make their community safer. This does the opposite. It will release almost exclusively, exclusively violent offenders. Almost no one else, as I said, gets 10 years or more. And to use the idea of correctional staffing needs to be addressed by releasing violent offenders into our communities. Staffing levels do not get addressed by releasing violent offenders into our communities. Staffing levels get addressed by paying more, hiring more, making the job a better job, making the job a safer job, providing better circumstances for those persons that are incarcerated. That's how you address staffing levels. You don't address staffing levels by letting violent offenders out. This goes in front of the same judge. Well, maybe, but if somebody's been in prison for more than 10 years, it's just as likely or more likely that they'll go sorry. in front of a successor judge. I'm very sorry to interrupt you, but- we Well, they cut him off, basically. They stopped him from talking right there. So yeah, he is saying this will create Mich it will create a, a danger for Michigan. It'll make Michigan less safe. But the other side is saying you need to give people a second chance because also they were discussing in Michigan that there is a staffing shortage when it comes to prisons, and this could help that as well. So those are both sides of the story right there. I want to know what you think in the comments below. I see a lot of you are typing already, and continue to share this video out with everybody.